think that with the, the way the industry is going, with um, with self-publishing um, having less of um, less of a sense a sense of copying out, it's becoming much more um, accepted. It's becoming a much more acceptable route to go down. But what I really worry is that part of my journey, even though it was far too long, but part of my journey, it really taught me how to be a better writer. It really, I mean, all that rejection I got, I just kept focusing on the next book, focusing on the next book, um, so that I became a better writer. Um, I'm, I'm fortunate that as a journalist, I also have worked with a lot of editors, so my writing got better and better as I went on. And I really worry that um, some writers will push their work out there too early. Yeah. Just like the question about editing was so important, you really should have someone edit your work and work that work, and then when it's the best it can be, then go forward. Because in, in this market, you really have to not send out anything just because you're passionate about it. You really have to step back a little bit, get that editing help, and really make it the best it can be. Um, Switch comes out in, in Russia. It's, it's, uh, I have the Chinese edition at home at home. It came out in Taiwan, and that was really interesting, because what I like about that one is that, for all I know, it could be a, a cookbook or something. <laughs> it's the only part of English that's on it is my name, so I have no idea. Um, it just is kind of cool to see. You know, so, but yeah, uh, it comes out in Russia this year, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Because I always, I always like to see what the um, publishers do with the cover, especially. How they interpret it, it's quite different because uh, this one, you know, this is the this is the Canadian cover. This was published by Penguin, um, it was just very similar to the UK cover, but in Germany, um, I should have actually brought in the different ones. But in Germany, they kind of went with this black cover with blood dripping down the cover, and they even changed the name to um, it's uh, translated to Voice of the Demon, and I thought, well, there's no demons in it, <laughs> so. It's, but, so I don't know quite, but it, it's, they just figured that's what sold in their market. So they kind of, even though it's not a horror book at all, um, they kind of gave it this sort of horror look because that what appeals to their, to their audience or that's what was selling at the time. So it's always kind of interesting to see these different interpretations of the book.